Hi everyone, today we're gonna to be working on the Soft Snow Crochet Hat. It's available in a number of sizes. I'm gonna be working today on a standard adult size, but I will be giving prompts um, for other sizes as well. Um, so I urge you to also have handy a measuring tape. You can reference the size chart. There is a link in the description below as well as a link to the written pattern and also a link to this pattern page on my website where I offer all of the materials needed so that if there's anything that you're missing, you can have it delivered right to your door. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So as I mentioned, you should have a measuring tape handy just to double check those measurements. I will be giving prompts throughout the pattern. I would recommend a stitch marker. It's not completely needed. I personally like to have it handy. Scissors, a five millimeter crochet hook, a pom-pom or whatever hat topper that you'd like. If you want one at all, you don't have to have one. Um, and the yarn that I'm using is Burnat Baby Velvet Yarn. This is incredibly soft. Um, and as you can see, I've already been into this yarn because I've already made a hat and a neck warmer, and there's enough left over to make another hat um, as well. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with our, we're gonna start off by making our starting loop. So you're gonna wrap the yarn around your finger and cross it over. Pick up the bottom piece there and push just a little bit of the top piece through. Go ahead and get your hook on that. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we're gonna begin with our chain. Okay, our starting chain. So you're gonna yarn over your hook and pull it through the loop. That's one, we're gonna do seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, before I move forward, I wanna explain. Right now you're working on the width of your band. If you want it to be a wider band, go ahead and make more chains. This is, as I said, the, the width of the band, okay? So now as we work our rows, we're gonna be working on the the piece that's going to wrap around your head. So if you're referencing the size chart, that's you're you're going to have to look at the head circumference measurement, um, <clears throat> depending on what size hat that you're making. I'm making a standard adult size, so I need to work mine. And you always want to go one and a half inches less than the head circumference measurement on the hat size chart. Okay. So and I don't worry. I'm going to give you stitch counts as well. I'm just explaining it for those of you that might be following the measurements. Okay. So I'm working on a standard adult, which typically is about 21 inches um, head circumference. So I'm working mine until I get to the length of 19 and a half. And if you're working on a toddler um, or any other size, just reference the size chart below, okay? But as I said, this starting chain, this is just the width of it, how thick the band is gonna be, okay? So if you want it thicker, make some more chains right now. Push pause on the video, make some more chains if you want it thicker. If you want it like mine, you're going to seven chains. Also, if I move too quickly on any stitches in this video, reference the links in the description below. I give stitch tutorials where I focus on the stitches so it'll make it easier for you to follow along to this pattern, okay? Now, beginning in the second chain from the hook, so there's the first one, going into the second chain from the hook, we're gonna work a half double crochet. So yarn over your hook, push it through the stitch. I know it's hard to see the stitches um, with this yarn, but you can feel it too. It's just, it's so worth it because this yarn is incredibly soft. You're gonna yarn over, pull up a loop. So now you've got three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. In this next one, we're gonna do a slip stitch. Push your hook right through, yarn over, and pull through both loops on your hook. Next one, we're gonna do another half double crochet. Then we're gonna do a slip stitch, and you're just gonna keep on alternating between half double crochet, slip stitch, half double crochet, and slip stitch, all the way down, and the amount of rows, that, sorry, the amount of stitches you should have right now should be one less than your starting chain. So we did a chain of seven. You should have six stitches right now because we started in the second chain from the hook. You're gonna chain one and turn your work. We ended on a slip stitch. Right now, we're working on a moss stitch, which is an alternating pattern. So what that means is we're gonna keep on alternating between half double crochet, slip stitch, half double crochet, slip stitch. But the important thing to note is every single half double crochet that you work has to be into a slip stitch from the previous row. And every slip stitch that you work has to be in a half double crochet from the previous row. That's how you get that ripple effect, okay? So we ended our last row on a slip stitch. We're gonna begin this next one with a half double crochet. And then a slip stitch. 
in the next, and a half double crochet in the following. And you're literally just going to keep on going, alternating your half double crochets in your slip stitches all the way down until you get to the end. Okay? Then you're going to chain one and turn your work. And you're just going to literally keep on going, keep on working your rows until you get to the length that you want. And if you're working on a toddler size, you're going to keep on going. So you're just going to keep on going, working your rows until you reach either a total of 55 rows for a toddler size, 70 for adult, or until you reach the measurement less an inch and a half from the size chart below. This is my finished band. I've worked to 70 because I'm doing a standard adult size. But again, you reference the size chart below, work the length for the head circumference measurement you need less uh, one and a half inches to give for the stretch, okay? So keep on, go ahead and pause the video till you get to that what you need. Then you're gonna fold in half like this, lining up the short edges. You're gonna push your hook through. Make sure you're working through both sides here. We're gonna close this seam with slip stitches. So push your hook right through the first stitch on both sides here. So we're gonna close the seam, all right? You're just gonna push it right through both and we're gonna do a slip stitch. So just yarn over, pull right through both loops on your hook, and you're just gonna keep on going all the way down that short edge, making sure to work through both sides, working slip stitches all the way down so you can close your seam and, um, and then come back. Just make sure that you are working through both sides. That's really important. You don't want the seam to be open anywhere, or have any gaps. All right, so now when you get to the end, you're just gonna chain one and your work is inside out right now. So you're gonna flip it around so it's not inside out anymore. And just go ahead and grab your yarn, pull it through. All right, get yourself all straightened out here. And we're gonna start our next round, or our first round rather. <laughs> all right, so now what you're gonna do, you can go ahead and um, grab a stitch marker if you'd like to use a stitch marker, I personally do like to, uh, just to keep track of where my chain is at the start. Okay, so you're gonna work one single crochet evenly all the way around. Ideally, you should have as many single crochets um, going around evenly as you had rows for your band. So in this case, I would have 70. I should have 70 single crochets by the end. All right, so you're just gonna keep on going, work your single crochets all the way around evenly. And um, as I said, it just depends on how, however many single crochets you're gonna end up with, depends on how many rows you worked of that moss stitch. So go ahead, just keep doing that all the way around and come back. All right, so now that you've finished that round, you're just gonna go ahead and close it with a slip stitch in the chain one space from the beginning of the round. Okay, and then you're gonna go ahead and just move that stitch marker up um, so do your chain two, and we're gonna move our stitch marker to the top of that chain two space. For this next round, we're gonna work a double crochet in every stitch all the way around. Okay, so you're gonna yarn over, push your hook through the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Okay, you got three loops on your hook here. You're gonna yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the next two loops. All right, so you're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing in the very next stitch and work one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Again, if any of these stitches are going too fast, just refer to my stitch tutorials um, to have it broken down for you. Go all the way around till you get to this beginning and come back. All right, so now at the beginning, or now that you've ended that round, we're gonna close with a slip stitch in the top of the chain two space, and we're gonna begin our next round with a chain one. Go ahead and move that stitch marker up to your chain one space to start this next round. For this next round, we're gonna work a back post half double crochet. We're gonna yarn over, bring your hook around the back of your work, pushing it through between the posts here, okay? Over that post and go back in through between the next two posts to push your hook out through the back. And then yarn over, pull up a loop. You've got three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. All right, so just instead of working through the stitches, we're working around the post. We're pushing the post to the back of our work, hence the name back post half double crochet. All 
All right, and you just finish off your half double crochet like you would any other. So yarn over, go in the back, round the post, up, and pull through all three. Go ahead, go ahead, do that all the way around till you get to the beginning and come back. All right, so now that you've finished those back post half double crochets, you're gonna close your round with a slip stitch in your chain one space. And we're gonna begin our next round with a chain one. Move your stitch marker up to the new chain one space for this round. And we're gonna begin with our bobble stitches. Okay, it could be a little bit confusing, so just hang tight. Yarn over, and you're gonna push your hook through the stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops on your hook. Yarn over, push your hook back in the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, the first two. Okay, now you've got three loops on your hook. You're gonna go ahead and repeat that two more times. Okay, so that's three. Yarn over, through the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two on your hook. Now you've got five loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, pull through all five loops, and you're gonna chain one. In the next stitch to create some space and give that nice look that we see, that we love, you're just gonna do a regular half double crochet. All right, and then in the following stitch, you're gonna do another bobble. And you're literally just gonna keep on repeating these two alternating stitches all the way around. You're gonna work a bobble stitch, chain one, half double crochet. Bobble stitch, chain one, half double crochet. And you're gonna keep on doing that all the way around this whole entire round. Again, if you're having any trouble following how to do a bobble stitch, I know it could be a little bit more of a tricky stitch. Just go ahead and refer to my stitch tutorial. There is a link in the description below. It'll take you to the bobble stitch stitch tutorial. When you get to the beginning, come back. All right, so now that you're at the beginning again, we're gonna close this round with a slip stitch in that chain one space, okay? And we're gonna start our next round with a chain one. And we're gonna go ahead and um, work a half double crochet into every single stitch all the way around, okay? Be careful you do not work a half double crochet into your chain ones, all right? So rule of thumb, you're working a half double crochet on top of a bobble stitch, skipping over that chain one, and you're working a half double crochet in the stitch between your bobble stitches. So half double crochet, one on top, one between, and all the way around till you get to the beginning here, and then you're gonna come on back and meet me here. Okay, so now that you're back at the beginning, you're gonna close that round with a slip stitch in your chain one space. And we're gonna go ahead and start our next round with a chain two. All right, move that stitch marker up to the top of the chain two space and go ahead and start your next round of double crochets. So we're gonna work one double crochet into every single stitch all the way around. And um, yeah, you're just gonna keep on going with your double crochets into every single stitch all the way around. Okay, so just keep on doing that. And when you get back to the beginning, come on back here and we'll move on to the next round. All right, so now we're gonna start our next round with our chain one. Oops. Go ahead and get your stitch marker into that chain one space. And we're gonna go ahead and do our <clears throat> back post half double crochets again. So you're just gonna be working a back post half double crochet around every single post all the way around your work. kind of repeat these same, <clears throat> we're just doing these same rows um, over again a couple times. And again, it just depends on the size of the hat you're working on. So go ahead and finish this round. When you get to the beginning, come back. All right, so now we're back at the beginning and we're gonna begin our bobble stitch round. So you're just gonna go ahead and do your one bobble stitch in the first, chain one, and then a regular half double crochet in the following stitch. And you're just gonna go ahead and keep on repeating this, okay? And if you're, depending on the size that you're working on, so right now you just wanna keep on working your rounds until you reach the hat height that you want, less an inch and a half, because you wanna leave um, some space for finishing, okay? So just keep that in mind when you're working your rounds here, because I am working to a standard adult size in this video, so just keep that in mind and make sure that you're checking your measurements 
and the uh, reference the hat size chart that I've put in the description below. So whatever hat height is showing on the size chart for the size height you're working on, you're just gonna work these rounds until you reach the height you need less one and a half inches. So make it one and a half inches less than the hat height you need, okay? And I'll tell you when we're moving on to the next step. So right now we're still just building on the height. And so go ahead and finish this round um, of your bobble stitch, half double crochet, bobble stitch, half double crochet, um, and then come back. All right, so now we're gonna start our next round with a chain one. Put your stitch marker in that new chain one space. Okay, and we're gonna work a half double crochet on the top of every stitch. Remember to be sure that you're skipping over those chain one spaces because um, you don't want to end up increasing your rounds here, okay? You want to keep your stitch count the same right now and consistent. So we're working one half double crochet on top of every bobble stitch and one half double crochet between every bobble stitch, okay? So I know it can be a little hard to see the stitches and um, with this kind of yarn, but Anyway, just make sure that you're only working one half double crochet on top of each bobble stitch and one half double crochet in between each bobble stitch and you'll be good. You can also be counting your stitches as you go. You should still have the same amount as from the first round that you did. So when you get to the beginning here, come on back. All right, so now that you've finished that round of half double crochet, go ahead and chain two and get your stitch marker into um, the top, the top of the chain two okay and go ahead and start working your round of double crochets all the way around so just working one double crochet into every single stitch all the way around again just a friendly reminder to make sure that you're keeping note of your size go all the way around and then come back okay so now that we're here at the start we are going to go ahead and work on our back post half double crochet. And we're just gonna work one back post half double crochet all the way around. And of course by now you know, like we're closing each round with a slip stitch, we're starting each round with a chain one or a chain two if it's at the beginning of the double crochet round. So just keep going all the way around with your back post half double crochets and then come back. All right, so now of course you've closed with your slip stitch and you did your chain one. So now we are doing our bobble stitch round. I know this bobble stitch can actually be a bit of a yarn guzzler, but it's not that bad when it's broken up with other stitches as well. I find this is still uses a reasonable amount of yarn. It's not more than typical, maybe a little bit more, but not drastic or anything. Okay, so you're gonna keep on going and working your bobble stitch round, doing your bobble stitch, chain one, and then half double crochet in between. Bobble stitch, chain one, half double crochet in between. <clears throat> okay, just keep going all the way around and then come back when you're at the beginning. Okay, so now that we've reached the hat height we need, less than an inch and a half, we're gonna begin our decrease round. So push your hook in, pull up a loop, hold on to that and go right into the very next loop beside, push your hook in, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through all three loops on your hook. That's a single crochet decrease, okay? So now in the next stitch, we're just gonna work a regular single crochet and then another single crochet decrease. Single crochet in the following stitch. Single crochet decrease. And you're just gonna keep on going, alternating between one single crochet and one single crochet decrease. All the way around. <clears throat> okay. So go ahead and do that all the way around, close with a slip stitch, chain one and come back. All right, so now you're gonna go ahead and do your chain two. Get your stitch marker in the top of your chain two space. And you're gonna go ahead and work just one regular double crochet into every stitch around. Okay, so just work your regular double crochets all the way around. Um, just one into every single stitch. We're not decreasing or anything like that for this round. Just one regular double crochet into every single stitch all the way around. Do that all the way till you get back to the beginning here. Close with your slip stitch, chain one, and come back. All right, 
So now we're gonna begin our next round. Get your stitch marker into your chain one space. And we're gonna do our back post half double crochets all the way around every single post for the whole round. Again, nothing, um, no special decrease or anything like that for this round, just one regular half double crochet around every single post all the way around until you come back, close with your slip stitch, chain one and come back. Okay, so now for this next round, we're working a regular bobble stitch round. So we're gonna work our bobble stitch into the very first stitch of this round. Okay, five loops, pull through all five, chain one, and then your regular half double crochet in the following stitch. And you're just gonna keep on going around as usual, working your bobble stitch, chain one, half double crochet, bobble stitch, chain one, half double crochet. You're gonna do that all the way around this whole round until you get back to the very beginning. Of course, you're gonna close with your slip stitch, chain one, and then you're gonna come back. Okay, so you go ahead, work that round till you get back here, and then come back. All right, so now we're gonna begin our next round, and it's another decrease, so single crochet decrease, and then a regular single crochet. Single crochet decrease, sorry. and then a regular single crochet. Another decrease, and we're literally just gonna alternate between single crochet decreases, single crochets, all the way around, close of the slip stitch, come back. So now, after that last round, you can take that stitch marker out, and you're just gonna pull a bit of a long tail end. Okay, grab your scissors, I've got a little bit of a tangle here. Fasten it off and just pull the rest of that tail end through, okay? Go ahead and you're gonna grab your yarn needle. Okay, so just go ahead, grab your yarn needle and thread that tail end there. You're gonna, we're gonna use this to close that opening at the top. Okay, and you're just gonna push your yarn needle into the first stitch and out through the next. So it's very important you're weaving in and out, in and out, um, because when we get all the way around to the beginning, we're gonna pull it closed like a drawstring. So you just have to go in and out of every single stitch all the way around. And you're just gonna keep on doing that till you get back to the start. All right, now that you've gone all the way around, you're just gonna pull that tail end so it closes the opening. Just pull it right closed there. All right, and then just to secure it and make sure it stays closed, I just like to push my yarn needle um, through a couple of times through the center, just to really make sure that it's secure and that it stays closed. Okay, then you can go ahead and pick up your pom-pom or whatever hat topper um, if you've chosen to use one. And mine have this little elastic band here, so I just push my hook right through it, and then I go back in and weave it in and out of the uh, the top of the hat there and push it right back through the pom-pom one more time. I just like to make sure that it's really secure, okay? And then um, pull the yarn all the way through so it's nice and tight. Push the yarn needle right into the center of the hat and then pull it through the inside. And then we're just gonna go ahead and make sure that it's really secure on the inside as well. So you can flip your work inside out and then pick that yarn needle back up and just weave it in and out a couple times. And I like to also make sure that I knot it. So I'll weave that in and out just a couple of times here. And then before I pull it really tight the second time, I go in the middle of that loop and then pull it so it gives a knot. You can even still, um, just fasten it off right now, or you can go ahead and weave it in and out a little bit more if it makes you feel better. Weave this other tail end in and out, and you're done. Your hat is finished, that's your soft snow hat. I hope that you've enjoyed this pattern. Please definitely do go ahead and click like and subscribe. Make sure after you subscribe, you ding the bell and have a look what other patterns I have for you.